Hi, I'm Axel and today I'm gonna set up my wired home network to show you how you can do it yourself in a very simple and easy way. Since I live in a rental apartment, I can run cables through my walls however I want. So that's why I figured, why don't show you how you can do your cables if you live in a simple condition? First things first, planning. We need to plan ahead because if we don't, there will be problems and we want to eliminate as many problems as possible right from the get-go. The first step in the plans is to figure out how many devices you have that has an Ethernet port. We need to figure this out to know which switches we need. In my case, I have PS3, Chromecast Ultra, Apple TV, normal TV, and three smart home bridges. That's seven? Wait, didn't I have eight? Of course, I forgot my PC. I got eight devices. Now, eight devices means I need at least nine ports because I need a port for my router as well. It's also a good idea to have a few extra ports in case of a future upgrade or purchase. So in this case, let's say we need 10 ports because I won't need a port for my Apple TV. We're not gonna run a cable to the bedroom for the Apple TV because we rarely use that device anyways. Now when you know how many ports your switch needs, you can get the switch. I would suggest desktop switches because they are very quick and easy to install and they need no configuration. However, many desktop switches only has 8 ports and because of that I have a little bit of a problem. I need 10 ports. To fix this, I just got two switches, one with 5 ports and one with 8 ports. The next step in the planning process is to plan everything out, in a map so to speak. We want to do this to know how many cables and how long the cables need to be. This is especially important if you're doing your cables yourself, but it's also a necessary step even if you don't do them yourself. So here we are in Photoshop where I've drawn a simple floor plan of my apartment. The first thing I will do is to mark where every device will be placed. I will mark my devices with the red dots, so I've got the IKEA gateway, the Philips bridge, the Telus Telstick, the router, my access point, and I've got my PlayStation, Chromecast Ultra, TV, Apple TV, and I will also mark my internet output source, which is here, and my PC. Now, as for switches, they should ideally be placed as close as possible to as many devices as possible, which is perfect in my case since I'm using two switches and have two areas with many devices. So I should place one switch here and another switch here. I will need one cable between the output and my router. And my router is connected here to the switch. I will need this device to be connected to the switch. This device should also be connected to the switch and this one too. Then I will need the switch to be connected to my PC and to the switch by the TV. The switch should be connected to the PS3, the Chromecast Ultra and the TV. As I said earlier, my Apple TV will not be connected via wire. Awesome! Now, if you're not making your cables yourself, you now know exactly how many cables you need. In my case, I need four 50 cm cables, three 1.5 meter cables, and three 5 meter cables. Did I count that correctly? However, if you are doing them yourself, you can still calculate how long they need to be now. In my case, it's 4 by 0 0.0, 3 by 1.5, and 3 by 5. That's approximately 22 meters. It's very important to have a few extra centimeters or decimeters because even if you are a pro, it will probably go wrong. Since we know how many cables we need, we also know how many connectors we need. However, I will suggest to buy a few extra of these. You will do a mistake. Now the plan is done and let's execute it. The first step is to place every device where it's going to be in the end. So what I did to make it look neat was to buy myself a white shelf to place my devices on. I started by placing out the devices and making marks where the screws would go. I made sure the devices were placed with ports on roughly the same height. Unfortunately, I didn't find any screws at home, so I used nails. Highly unrecommended and I will switch the screws as soon as possible. Then, I flip the shelf over to add the hooks. The shelf is pretty heavy, so I wanted to use many hooks to lighten the load. I then marked where the nails had to go on the wall and nailed them in. Place the devices on the wall. 
Once everything is placed out and everything looks fine, supply them with some power. Next thing, the cables. If you're doing your cables yourself and you don't know how to do it already, here's a quick tutorial. Strip the end of the wire, unwirl the small cables, Align them straight in this order. Orange striped, orange, green striped, blue, blue striped, green, brown striped, brown. Cut them evenly. Align in the connector. Use the crimping tool on the connector. Repeat for every cable. If you ever want a better tutorial or a more in-depth version, please let me know in the comments below and I might consider it. Next! First of all, connect the cable between the network output and the router. When that cable is connected, Go ahead and connect the router and the switch together. Then we connect all of our devices to the switches following our map. The cables are there, however, they look disgusting laying on the floor. Let's fix that. There we have it, a perfect wired home network, at least for a rental apartment. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing and please comment if you feel so. You can subscribe by clicking here and you can also watch another video by clicking here.